No, Sergey, I told you to disperse his body in acid, not to throw him in the lake. Ah. Oh, hi, dear Eastern European friends. In our last episodes, we showed you the worst reviewed hotel and restaurant in Slovakia. In this episode, we move to the Czech Republic. According to this graph, there's only one thing we can do here. So let's find ourselves the worst reviewed bar and get fucked up. Time to find the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic. This time we're not going to tripadvisor.com, we're going to zomato.com, a website very popular here in the Czech Republic, often used by locals. Basically every single restaurant, pub, bar, whatever is listed here, even the less touristy ones, pubs and bars. And let's go, you know where, the very last page, page number 28. Oh, and I can see it. 2.4 stars out of 5 and it's called Yini Stuff. It's here in Prague. Yini Stuff means a different state. And I suppose we may end up in a different state, maybe in the state of death. Let's see the photos. This looks pretty normal, like the typical Czech pop uh, called Hospoda. There are hundreds of them in every single Czech city. I don't know what's so bad about this. Let's see the reviews. I understand that servers can have bad days, but for the love of God, don't show it to the customer so clearly. The waitress was like an open umbrella shoved upon your ass, and her disgusted expression and stupid remarks ruined our night. Inappropriate staff behavior, ignorant waiter, and weird reactions from the manager. Reluctant waitress, utter disinterest, and slow orders. Good beer and tasty food, but that's it. The staff is absolutely terrible. Alright, I think we just found out why this pub has such a low rating. It's the staff. Apparently annoyed, very unprofessional, very rude. An interesting idea just popped into my head. We're gonna go to this bar and we're gonna ask a lot of questions and see if we can get one of these beautiful reactions. Let me just get my cameraman. Vladimir is having birthday today, so I'm gonna invite him for a beer in this bar. Time to party. Vladko, kto má dnes narodeniny? Veľa šťast. Do piči, Vlado. Po hodinu tady mne kam a ty sa pozrieš, jak taká skurvená posa na si. To si nezakopal? Čo ma trepeš do piči? Vieš, aké som tu vstal do roka? A ja ti čo ma ja sa najdeš? Po hodinu narodiny. Po hodinu nemeš vič. Ty ma vič, to je najhoršie. Ty si uhoršie od papu do kurva. Ja vieš sa to najdeme, ideme do piči. Poď, stávaj do piči. And so we lit some delicious cigarettes, hopped on our electric scooters and got ourselves ready for the worst staff that ever worked in the restaurant business. It did not take long and the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic emerged in front of us. We are in front of the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic. We're really thirsty. We're probably gonna have a lot of beers. We're probably gonna get drunk. And we're also gonna order some beer snacks. Czech Republic is uh, famous for its beer snacks. We're starving. Let's hope this is not our last supper. Let's go. Dobry večer. Už jenom hočku. A baríte stále? Jo, jo, vaším. Jo. Tak dvě piva? Hned dvě piva. Prezidentské? Jo, jasně. Díky moc. Což to mají? Tak. Děkujeme. So, we entered the worst reviewed bar in the Czech Republic. One server immediately started talking to us. He seemed very very polite very very nice he proposed two beers as probably every server in the Czech Republic when a bunch of guys enter a, a beer pub so far so good the server is really really nice cheers, cheers. Pilsner Urquell probably the best beer in the world no joke the beer is great there's probably not a single bar in this country that offers bad beer. Let's see uh, what they offer. So we're gonna order the snacks. There are two very famous beer snacks here in the Czech Republic. 
first one is called tatarak, which is a uh, raw ground beef with uh, raw egg with a lot of spices. You mix it up all together with garlic and onion and you put it on toppings. It's really delicious, usually uh, not that dangerous, but we're gonna play that we, we saw this for the first time and see the reaction of the allegedly root uh, servers. The second thing we're gonna order is a uh, camembert cheese with uh, pickled onions called hermelin. Also, huge Czech classic. Let's confront the waiter with our fear of raw egg and raw ground beef. Tatarský beef stick. A ja vás poprosím ten nakladaný hermelin. Nakladaný hermelin. Môžem sa spýtať, ten, ten beef stick, to je surové meso, že? A to je bezpečné? No, jasne, že jo. Tak jo. Čerstvé. Tak jo. Tak jo, díky vám. The server is brilliant so far. Smiling, there's no sign of rudeness. He's not annoyed at all. Huge thumbs up. This doesn't seem like the worst reviewed bar in this country. Jo, ešte dve piva a poprosíme vás uh, asi aj tú zelenú, by sme radi vyskúšali. Zelenú. Zelenú. A, a koľko to, koľko to má a, percent? Ríke, jak Takže tady byla to prohybiť, prohybiť sa tak ubrali, to má stále nejaké rovšina. Okej, okay. ja? tak dve zelené. To budeme Díky. Sa the server again proposed two more beers, but that is very common here in the Czech Republic that the servers are proposing that in a in an amicable way and we also ordered another Czech classic that uh, I think cannot be found anywhere uh, else in the world it's called zelena which means green and it's a peppermint liquor we also asked how many percent does it have and if it's strong another of our um, never-ending questions and the server just smiled and answered he's smiling all the time i would give this pub probably five stars so far well let's see the food let's see the snacks maybe he's gonna change in five minutes after five more questions a môže, ešte sa môžem spýtať takú otázku že tu v česku ja som počul že je niečo také že hádžete občas absint do piva Zelená, zelená se hází do piva. No, to je magické oko. Do... Magické to, oko? Je, to možná takto ne, celé. Ne, to bych musel přijít z jiný pana. Chcete to přijít? No, my jsme se to chtěli strašně zkusit. To bylo úžasné. Strašně by se to dá. A to se volá magické no, oko? Magické oko, no. Tak jo. Tak jo. Děkujeme. I want the server to be my uncle. You cannot see him because he's always standing behind the camera. He's amazing. Smiling all the time, suggesting things. This is an exceptional server. No. Wow. Wow. No, a když to budete pomalu pít, tak vlastně se dostaneme. Čiže teraz to, teraz to normálne pijeme? Jo, 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 a pak to dáte až nakonec s tou zelenou. Jasné, ďakujeme veľmi pekne. Ďakujeme I heard these things cause hallucinations. Cheers. Cheers. Magical eye, magické oko. I can feel the minty flavor. Very interesting. We're getting fucked up today. I think it's better than normal beer. For me. You are always strange. Vlad has a deep thought. It, it's probably because he's getting drunk, so say it. Generally, if the server is good, uh, it's something like a placebo. The better and the meal really... No, uh, the beer tastes better. So what Vlad was trying to say and failed horribly was that when the server is good uh, it creates sort of a placebo effect. You're enjoying the meal and the drinks more and it creates this great atmosphere and your stay is just very pleasant and enjoyable and that's what's happening right now at this place. Well, but this may change our minds. Oh, fuck. Tak, ďakujem veľmi pekne. Zamichať nejak, pořádne. Ja bych tam asi naházel úplne všetko. Všetko zo všetkého, všetko. A česnekovať? Jasne. Veľmi ďak, ďakujem veľmi pekne. pekne. I think we should start with this. The camembert cheese. Probably the biggest Czech classic when it comes to beer snacks. Bon appetit or 
as they say in the Czech Republic, dobrou chuť. I think the texture is great. Mm. Great. Very good. I've tried several of these during my life. This is definitely one of the best ones. Fuck me, how can this be the worst restaurant? We're having the real Czech experience right now. Beer, peppermint liquor, camembert cheese and tatarak. This cannot get any better. Maybe some beaches. <clears throat> All right, I'm really looking forward to this, the process of mixing the the tartar. You basically have probably like five different spices here. You have the paprika, you have cumin here, you have pepper, you have salt. This is chili, ketchup, mustard, and the finely chopped onion. So you have the, the raw egg yolk on the top of the ground beef. You simply mix it all together. I hope we're not getting a tapeworm from this. Let me know in the comments below if you're not from the Czech Republic, if this seems strange to you. I would also recommend to put a little bit of Worcester sauce and soy sauce inside. This is some real chemistry here. Now the second part of the process. You pick the topping and you do this with the garlic. And now you put the mixture on the top of the top. Topping, like a spread. This is Eastern Europe. This is the best of Eastern Europe. Loving the taste of tapeworms. Five stars so far. Five stars. There has to be something bad here. Five star tartar. What are you doing? That's my beer. Can I at least have a little sip? I want to try the liquor. We have two annoying questions uh, up in our sleeves. Let's try them. Možeme poprosiť ešte jedálny lístok raz. A kde máte toalety, prosím vás? Ďakujem. Chceli sme sa spýtať, je nejaký z tých dezertov vegánsky? Alebo, alebo pre celý akýkov? To je v poriadku. Tak jeden ten medovník. Áno. Jasne, jasne, jasne. And we also ordered two of their signature drinks, alcoholic drinks and a dessert. And we asked if if the dessert was vegan and gluten-free, a question that would probably piss off half the population of the Czech Republic. But the server was calm, he was cool. Such a great guy. So we got the signature drinks. Let's try them. Vlad, cheers. No, che we have to do cheers before you drink. First negative point of this night. I really don't like the drinks. There's no taste. It's like drinking water with some lime juice. No, the, the drinks are not good. Not recommending the drinks here. Ďakujeme veľmi pekne. Let's try the la last item on the menu. The dessert called Medovnik, which is a honey dessert. I'm getting a bit tipsy, so it should be good. It's honey. Oh, shit. Kind of bland, but still pretty good. I would give it 3.6. Not great, not terrible. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. But these drinks, oh shit. I'm, I'm not gonna finish the drink, it's like, it's like water. The bathrooms are often very disgusting. Uh, let's see the bathrooms then. The drinks, the dessert and the toilet were um, average or mediocre. Uh, let's just have one more beer and finish this beautiful Czech experience. Ladies and gentlemen, our time here in the worst reviewed pop in the Czech Republic is almost over. And as always, 
we're gonna confront the staff with the fact that they're working in the worst reviewed bar and ask them what they think about it. Możemy się was spytać jedną rzecz. Halo. Wiecie o tym, że ta to restauracja jest na zomacie podobnie na najgorsze. Ako je to možné? Vy ste úžasní. Ja som tady asi 14 dní. Vy ste tu 14 dní? Takže ostatní kolegovia nie sú až takí skvelí. Tady už nejsou oni, tady už nikdo nechce pracovat. Tady to bylo tak jako že předtím, než jsem tady přišel já. Tady byli sami Feťáci. Feťáci, no. Já jsem to střílel na hajzlu. A všechno špatně prostě. Teraz se to pak nejde snažit něco zlepšit. Lebo v tých recenziách sa spomína hlavne to, že práve čašníci sú zlí a vy ste nás očarili. Ďakujem. Vy ste úplne úžasní. Vy sme sa aj na svoj pýtali tak veľa blbých otázok, aby sme videli reakciu. Vy ste úžasní. Ďakujem. Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Tiež by bolo viac tak ľudí ako vy. Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Ďakujem na svoj. Just seen that places with a low rating are not always that bad, especially when the management decides to fire rude staff and replace them with angels like this one. Can't believe that I'm saying this, but I'm giving the worst reviewed pub in the Czech Republic four stars out of five. If you want to see more of the worst reviewed places in Eastern Europe, hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. Good luck, Yini stuff, or the different state. We're definitely leaving in a different state of mind a positive state of mind and also a bit drunk. See you next time.